Hi, I'm Danielle Matus, one of the prolotherapists at Caring Medical Florida, talking today about biceps tendon tears and biceps tendon injuries at the shoulder. Now, the biceps tendon originates at the shoulder and goes down to attach at the elbow, but today we're just talking about injuries at the shoulder. If you look behind me, just to kind of orient yourself, we're looking at the front of the shoulder here. This is the shoulder capsule, and this right here is one of the tendons of your biceps muscle where it attaches into the joint. People can tear their biceps tendon to the point where it's torn in two. That's called a complete tear. If you've ever seen someone, you know, they tear it, they get a ton of bruising and the muscle kind of coils up. It's called a Popeye sign. Those are surgical cases. In cases where the tendon is still intact, but it's been partially torn or it's degenerated, those are non-surgical cases that can really still cause patients quite a bit of pain and respond really well to regenerative medicine. In cases like that where someone is suffering a biceps tendon injury, most of the time what we find is they're actually suffering from injuries to other parts of the shoulder as well maybe like a, a rotator cuff tear a labral tear or even um, stretching or sprains of that ligament capsule that hold that shoulder together a lot of times all these injuries occur at the same time or in the same wear and tear over the years which is why comprehensive treatments to these injuries are so important here is an ultrasound um, image that we're looking at of the biceps tendon. This is in long axis, so we're looking at the tendon as it goes down the arm. A normal healthy tendon on ultrasound should be like these bright white striations or stripes throughout. So when we see areas of black or even um, like a darker gray, that's a sign of tendinosis, tendinopathy, tendon degeneration, or can even be a, a partial tear, a tear in the fibers. In cases like these, comprehensive prolotherapy, maybe with PRP, works really well to heal these injuries. If we look here, this is actually a patient that we saw. You can see here, this is a short axis view, so we're looking you know, kind of like a credit card slice of the tendon this way. Here's the tendon, here's all this swelling, all this fluid around from their biceps tendon injury. We then treated that area. When they came back, you can see how that fluid has significantly reduced from healing of that tendon. This is exactly what we should see with regenerative treatments to these types of injuries. Now this patient in particular also had some ligament laxity in his shoulder and also some rotator cuff degeneration. We treated the whole shoulder comprehensively. That's the key in getting these injuries to resolve. It's actually treating the whole shoulder, treating the whole joint as a unit. Um, and not only just looking at the pictures, but this patient also went on to have significant reductions in his pain and get back to not only living his life without shoulder pain, but getting back into the exercises that he wanted to do. In cases of biceps tendon injuries, comprehensive evaluation of the shoulder via ultrasound is really, really important and really, really helpful, not only in diagnosing the extent of the injury at the biceps tendon, but also for evaluating other injuries that happen in relation to it and making sure they resolve. You know, doing serial ultrasound images uh, after treatments really helps us to see, yes, this is working, this is getting better as we work to resolve the patient's pain and increase their function.